Okay, one of the things I've been asked about the uh, 4732 is what are the bandwidth settings like? You've got a number of bandwidth settings you can use on this receiver. We're on AM at the moment, on 13670 as you can see. On a 6 kilohertz bandwidth, this is a Chinese, uh, radio China, Chinese radio station, quite a strong signal. And uh, there's not a lot of interference either side, so we're on 6 kilohertz bandwidth. I'll just turn the volume up a bit. Now look from behind the newspaper at the table. So you can hear it. And yeah, the, the audio quality is pretty good. As we'd expect on a six kilohertz bandwidth. Let's switch down the bandwidth. Where's the stewed pork? Four kilohertz. Now turn to me. I can hear a difference. I couldn't remain silent any longer, but I that bandwidth does sound tighter. Still less refer the question to her. Down to three. For time by swallowing loudly. Again, I think it's cut out a little bit of uh, and Jiang Qing still remains silent. Noise. At last, I stammered. I, no, we're on. What it. the radio says is a two I kilohertz know. bandwidth. Now asked in a loud. I think it's wider than that because the audio sounds, quite frankly, too good for two point four kilohertz. I'll show you a comparison with another radio in a minute. One kilohertz. Volume has gone down. The audio is more muffled, but to be honest, on a one kilohertz bandwidth, the audio wouldn't be this good. I don't think we can go any lower than that. A 1.8 there. Large tears Back up to six. Okay. Quite now, frankly, once we get below cry. four, I think the audio sounds too good for the, the narrower bandwidth that this radio says it's doing. So let's go to uh, a different radio and see how uh, a real narrow bandwidth sounds on AM. We're looking here at my uh, main amateur radio transceiver. It's an FT1000 MP. I've had it for some years. It's probably about 15, 16 years old now, but it works very well. We're on the same frequency, 13670, China, and we're at the moment in a 6 kilohertz bandwidth setting. Mao's countenance fell. With an air of finality, he said angrily, She's right. Now, I'd expect I the audio to be a bit better than the little 4732, because the speaker's a lot but bigger, but it gives you an idea. Let's switch to a 2.4 kilohertz bandwidth now. She doesn't have to. And now on. Okay, and you can see that's very muffled because it's narrowed the bandwidth right in. The little 4732 sounded better on 1.8 kilohertz bandwidth, which leads me to think that the 1.8 setting is actually a lot more than 1.8. Uh, we can go down even lower here, and that's a five, uh, sorry, a 0.5 kilohertz bandwidth. And it's unintelligible. Okay, let's see if we can find an SSB signal now. We are 40 meters. We've got a contest on, surprisingly enough. We're on 3 kilohertz bandwidth. That's 4, that's too wide for SSB. That's 0.5, half a kilohertz bandwidth. And still actually, it's still intelligible audio. 0.5 kilohertz. 1 kilohertz. A bit muffled but fully intelligible. 1.2. And then back to three. Okay, okay let's have a look see how the FT1000 does. Right, we're on a 2.4 kilohertz bandwidth here on the uh, FT1000 MP. Okay, Roger. Nice audio. Good afternoon. Remember, we were able to switch to 500, 0.5 uh, uh, bandwidth. So let's try that there. Now that's 0.5, totally unintelligible. Back 
to 2.4. No point five. Back to two point four. Okay, Hotel Alpha Two, Bravo Alpha right. So whilst the selecting different bandwidths works to an extent on the four seven three two, I certainly think that the no point five kilohertz bandwidth and the one kilohertz bandwidth are not as narrow as the receiver is telling us they are because with a decent 0.5 you get that on SS because the 0.5 is really for CW or maybe data modes but not sideband and um, to be fair if we go to 2.4 the 2.4 is pretty similar audio to the 2.2 or the 3.0 setting on the 4732 so I think the narrower settings on the 4732 are a little bit suspect